And I forgot. I did. I had. Did you watch that show? If you haven't, go look at the uh, the Dunce Cap of the Month. Uh, I did it uh, last Thursday. It's uh, 8 7 2015 when I did it. We we had a ton of idiot stories, and this one got lost. And it was so dumb that I wasn't going to let it rest without you all hearing it. Uh, July 16th, 2015, it wasn't going to win anyway, but it needed mentioned, and it is today's dumb day of the day. Ban everything. Princess Leah's slave outfit, offensive 30 years later. Now, when I was a kid, if it was Star Wars, I likely owned it. Many of you will see the uh, the poster Christelle got me in the back. Um, I like Aliens, like the movie Aliens, more than Star Wars, just by a little. But I was a huge Star Wars fan, and would still consider myself a very big Star Wars fan. And... I mean, we used to do dirty things with our Princess Leia and Han Solo figures. I'm not going to lie. But you know what? I never killed anybody. I've never drank any blood. It didn't destroy me. Listen, I mean, I, this came out 30 years ago. Listen to this idiot. This is why I couldn't uh, let this idiot bonehead father go. A Philadelphia dad is furious over Star Wars action figures of Princess Leia in her iconic slave outfit from the 1983 movie Return of the Jedi. You know what? He better never watch Lust in the Dust from about the same time period or he's going to have a heart attack. I'm just saying. It says, that's pretty inappropriate. Uh, Fred Hill said while shopping with his children in Target, I got two daughters and I don't need them seeing that crap. The slave version of the toy Princess Leia is not the first of its kind. Uh, they've been sold for decades. And the movie has been on shelves where she wears said dress and in people's homes for nearly 30 years. Surely he himself has seen the movie. But suddenly now, oh, it's offensive. Must have been raised by a family like my friend Gooch was. He wasn't allowed to do anything. He used to have to hide his rock CDs. What he would do is we would get cassettes of like Christian bands, which oftentimes we liked. And then uh, fast forward a minute into it when, you know, your parents would check it then not really listen and make sure there was Christian music at the beginning of both sides and then just make sure you rewind the tape. And, of course, he'd plug the holes and record like Metallica over it. He must have had one of those kinds of parents. Did anybody else ever do the cassette thing, by the way? You have no idea what I meant. Let me know. Hill said his daughter is asked why the figure has a chain around its neck. I don't have any answers, he said. I just was blown away looking at it. Most of us nerds are. He could have just said she was kidnapped by a, a fictional character named Jabba the Hutt. That would have been a good answer. The worst dad ever. Luckily, Princess Leia herself weighed in on the non-controversy at her official Twitter account, Carrie Fisher, who played the role, posted the following message to clear up any confusion. Slave Leodars are causing outrage for some parents on Fox TV, and I'm thinking its folks are outraged now. Shouldn't, I, shouldn't they have been outraged 40 years ago? Maybe I was. That chain only enslaved me until I could use the fabricious thing to kill that drooling, swollen, super-tongued slug and swirl him off into infinity. In other words, she laughed at him. Fisher, who is now 58, Princess Leia, will reprise her role as Leia in December with the release of the seventh episode of the franchise, which I'm so happy to say probably isn't going to have Jaw Jaw Binks in it. Star Wars The Force Unleashed. Probably sans the slave outfit. That's great. Friends, you're listening to The Correct Views. Sam I.B. DeGange signing off. Do me a favor. Go to TheMediaSpeaks.com. Look up the work of Kyle Court, D. Lake, and myself. Also, if you want to donate to the show, that would be extremely helpful. You can do so at TheCorrectViews at Hotmail.com. Every penny that you give to me, I promise you, goes towards a better show. Thank you for listening, friends. Good night, and God bless.